In today's video, we're going to creating videos just like this one, that one, and effects like this one. Now, this was all done using a free video editor called CapCut. We will go through all the things you can do within CapCut, how you can get started, and how you can create your next video. So let's jump onto the computer. Now, CapCut is available on mobile, computer, and web. Now in the description below, you'll find the link to those websites and where to get CapCut because you can install it on your mobile devices. But today we will be using the Windows version of CapCut and it will be the downloaded and installed version. Now here on their website, you will find a download button at the top and that's where you can then download CapCut. Now once you've downloaded CapCut and installed everything, you will be greeted with the following welcome screen. Now on this screen, you can sign into your CapCut account, and that means that you can then sync your projects across your devices. But because we are just doing it on the computer today, we are not going to be signing in. Now in order to create a new project, you're going to go to the top and click on new project. If you already have a number of projects, then here at the bottom, you will find those projects and you can click on those three dots to upload these to your CapCut account, rename the project, duplicate that project, or simply delete it. Now, duplicating a project is incredibly helpful if you've already set up all the different elements. We are going to start from scratch, and so we're going to click on New Project. Here, in my new project, the first thing to note is the layout and all the different elements that you can see. Here on the left-hand side, we can import our various media. The middle part is our player. On the right hand side, we get some more details about the various files. And at the bottom, we have our timeline. Now, one important thing to note is that it is possible to detach the player and details window. So you have it as a separate window. I like to keep everything together. So we're going to put that back. At the top, you also have a button that changes the layouts. Now here you have a number of default layouts. So we have the media first layout. We have our player first layout. You can see this looks different and the player is detached. We also have an adjustment first. That is this one here, which is now detached. And we have our timeline first. And as you can see, our timeline is detached. This is very useful if you're using multiple displays and you want to move them off to a second or third display. Now, before we get started on importing media, let's decide on an aspect ratio. Are we making videos for YouTube or Vimeo, or are we creating short form content, which is vertical? Maybe YouTube shorts, maybe we're making TikTok videos or any of those other platforms. You can change the aspect ratio of your project by clicking on the modify button here on the right hand side. When you click on that, you can now select the ratio that you would like to work in. We have 16 by 9, 4 by 3, etc., and even 9 by 16 for that vertical format. We are going to stick to the original 16 by 9 and then click on Save. Now it's time for us to import our media. Now, in order to do that, we're going to here on the left hand side click on Media, make sure that that icon is highlighted, and then import our media by clicking on Import. Now here I've already prepared a number of files. You can find the link to that download file in the description so you can follow along and play around with some demo footage. Let's put all of these into our file bin. Now in order to get these files onto our timeline and start editing our movie, we can navigate to the file and click on this plus icon. Or alternatively, we could simply drag and drop this onto our timeline. Now as you can see, I have two different video files now. So let's go ahead and preview these. We can press the play button here or simply press spacebar to start playing this file. You can see we have a little bit of footage there and some more walking footage. Now, as you can see from the footage, we have the grass first and then here on my timeline, we have this walking. Now let's go ahead and swap the order of these two files. We can do that by simply clicking, dragging and dropping the file around. Let's have a look at what this looks like by previewing that. And then we go to the grass. 
Excellent. Now, one thing you will have noticed is that it has created a layer here and we can create multiple layers. So let's go ahead and add another type of media on top of this video file. I'm going to scroll down and find our logo. This is a logo created in Canva and I'm going to drag this above the video footage. As you can see, we now have that logo right there. I'm going to just preview that with that button and we can see it overlaid on top of that video footage. We can trim the content so we can make it a little bit shorter and we can even move it around so that maybe it shows up a little bit later. So we have walking, then the logo, and then we have our footage. Now, one thing that is important to note with CapCut is that as you click on various media, you will get different options that are available to you to use. This is contextualized depending on what type of media you have highlighted. So here I have a video selected, and that means that I have the various options here at the top available. I can reverse this footage, mirror it, or I can rotate it as well as crop. When I go to this image, I no longer have the freeze or the reverse options, but I still have the option to trim it, delete various areas and split the footage. So now that we have our basic video footage in place, let's go ahead and trim a little bit of this footage. Here you can see there's a bit of dead space and we would like to go straight into this movement. So this is where we want to start. So I'm going to click and highlight in this area. I can zoom in a little bit more so I can see more of that timeline. And then I can select the split, delete the left or delete the right. I'm going to delete the left. There we go. This has now been cut and it goes straight into movement. Now let's go ahead and fade in the logo of our reptile explorers and then fade it out. So here we're going to go and select this image first. And then in the top right corner, go to animation. Now we can have an in animation and an out. So let's go with the in animation. Here we can choose any of these animations. So let's go ahead and find our fade. Now you can preview these by hovering over the various effects. I'm going to go with the fade effect. So let's go ahead and fade in that image. Let's preview that. Perfect. We want the duration of the fade to be a little bit longer. So let's make it a one second fade. There we go. Fades in for a second. Can carry on into the next scene. And then it's going to fade out. So let's go to the out. And then here we have a fade out. So let's go ahead and do the fade out. Again, let's go with one second and then the fade out will be two seconds long. Now you can see here, this is a one second fade in and a two second fade out. Now let's say that you've accidentally deleted this file. No problem. CapCut can also undo this. So here at the top, you can undo or redo any action that you've done in this program. Now let's go for a transition. Now I want to transition slowly from this grass to the tortoise. So let's go ahead and add in a transition here. We're going to find our transitions. We have a number of different transitions available. Let's go with the dissolve, drag this across and drop it where we want that transition to happen. So let's have a look at what happens. There we go. You can see it's transitioning neatly into the next frame. We can make this a bit longer. And now we have our tortoise up close. Now let's select our video footage. Here at the top, you can see we have effects, filters, and adjustments. So we're going to select the effects. You can see we have lots of different effects. If I drag this across, you will see that our tortoise suddenly looks very, very different. And it just interprets that very differently. Let's play around with a number of effects. We can have a spectra animation. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's see what that looks like. We have lots of different effects here. We've got the surface blur. So if I select this one, you will see as a surface blur to the video. And all these effects have additional parameters on the right hand side. We also have some pro effects. We've got the shake effect here, as you can see made very popular in various music videos. We've got some halo blur effects. You can see this looks very different again many different effects for you to play around with. In addition to that, we've got some filters that will tidy up the colors of your footage. 
So here, for example, we can add the tan effect onto that, and then this will make it look very sunny. You can see this is a way to really play around with those colors of your footage, and you can make a very dark footage look bright, fresh, and clean. Now, if you are looking to add your own LUTs, then you can always go to Adjustments, and here you can add your own LUTs. This is supporting both Cube and 3DL LUTs. So this is great if you have lots available from other software and you want to play around with them in CapCut. You can also create your own custom adjustments by clicking on custom adjustments and then simply here tweaking the various tones. So we can change the temperature, hues, perfect if you are color grading your footage. Now that we have our basic footage with an introduction logo, let's go ahead and add some text on top of this. Now this is a sulcata tortoise and so I would like to highlight the fact that this is a sulcata so I'm going to add in some text. We're going to go to the text option and we are going to add in some text. Now we have various text templates and effects. I'm going to select a text effect and let's just find something that looks interesting. Let's have a look at various different options here. Let's look at the different options of text that are available. Here you can see we have lots of different ones available. Let's go with this one. And let's go ahead and add that in. So we're going to drag this onto our timeline. We now have our text. We can change what it says. So let's go ahead and say Sulcata Tortoise and drag this to the bottom of our screen. We now have our text. It simply pops onto the screen. We don't want that. We want to add an effect. So let's go ahead and click on our text. And again, at the top, we can add an animation. Go ahead and add an animation in. We have various animations available. We have the typewriter. I quite like that. There we go. And let's make it a bit slower. Let's type a bit slower. We're going to test that. Sulcata tortoise. Perfect. Then we are going to have an out animation. Let's go to out. This will simply be a drop. Let's see. We're going to pop down. There we go. That will be our out animation. Let's use that one. And let's preview this. So cut the tortoise and then at the end of this scene is going to drop down. Perfect. Now this footage is great. It's a good start, but it's still very dull because there's no sound, no audio and no sound effects. So let's go ahead and add in some audio. Now let's say that I want this to be spoken as well as written. So cut the tortoise. I can click on this and then in the top right corner have these text to speech effects. So let's go ahead and play around with this. We have a number of voices here. So for example, we have Jesse. Sulcata Tortoise. Now, I'm sure you've heard this all over social media. Many people are creating content using these voices. But in addition to the spoken voices, you also have a number of other effects. So here, for example, we have the lullaby effect. So I would suggest that you have a play around with the various text-to-speech options built into CapCut and find the one that works for your footage. However, if you choose to insert your own voice or your own audio track, you can do that just the same. So under the audio tab, you have lots of different effects and music available. So here you can see we have the various music available, sound effects, and we even have a built-in copyright check. We can now insert this track. So let's go ahead and click on the plus icon, add that track to our timeline. We're going to trim off the beginning. And there we go, move this to the start and let's preview it. Perfect. Now all I want to do is I want to fade this track in, fade it out at the end. So here we're going to go to the end. This is where our CapCut video will stop. So we're going to just trim the audio here. Click on the audio first. And then here we can trim off the rest. There we go. Now we are going to fade it in and out. So we're going to go to the basic options. We're going to add a one second fade in. So we're just going to fade it in for one second and then fade out for a second and seven milliseconds. Let's preview this. Okay, quite like that. We're going to change the volume as well. We're going to bring that volume up a little bit more. 
Nada. Now let's see if we can zoom in a little bit more. So we're going to go to the end here. This is where we have our Solkata. He's sort of looking up. This is where we have our tortoise. He's looking up. Let's zoom in onto its head. Now how can we do that? First we select our clip. And then one of the options here, add a keyframe. So we're going to click on add keyframe. You can see we now have a little diamond shape. We're going to continue forward and add another keyframe. So let's go ahead and add another keyframe. Now, as you can see, we have two keyframes, the starting point and the end point. Now the end point will be zoomed in. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase the scale and move it to the center. Now what this will do is it will remember where it started and then as it plays, it will zoom in onto that area. Now you can use keyframes to move elements around the screen, move them up, down. You can even track different elements to movements of your hands. But I did want to show you one more thing that you can do within CapCut. And in order for me to show you that, I had to get some footage of myself. I'm going to add this in right here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what the footage looks like. So here we have some footage of myself looking to the side. Now, I am looking to the right and I would like to look to the left. So the first thing I'm going to do is reverse the footage. I'm going to flip it around. So we're going to go to mirror and now this has been mirrored. You can see I will look to the other side. Now let's change the actual size of this clip. We're going to make it smaller and move it to the side here. This will give us the effect of me looking at the tortoise. And now the one effect I wanted to show you that is built into CapCut, let's remove that background. So you can see we have a background. It's a white grayish wall. We're going to click on our clip, going to go to the top, click on video, and then under cutouts, you can see we have a chroma key effect. This is for green screen, but we can also scroll down and do an auto cutout. Let's select the auto cutout. You can see it's processing that clip and it's going to automatically cut out myself and remove that background. Let's go ahead and preview the clip. And there we go. This is incredibly useful if you have footage that needs that background removed. Okay, we've got our video. It's time to render and export this video so we can use it on our platforms. So we're going to go to menu at the top, click on file and then export. This will now enable us to export this as a video file that we can then upload to various platforms. We can choose where we would like to export this to. So let's go ahead and choose that folder. There we go. We're going to select the folder and then export it. We're going to choose the resolution and we can choose any of these resolutions, bitrate. We can change all the information here and then we are going to export the video. Now, before exporting, you can always run a copyright check. And there we go. We're going to click on export. This is now rendering that video. It's going to export the file to that folder that we've selected. And we can then upload the video to YouTube, Vimeo, your own website, TikTok, any platform you would like to upload this to. Now, as you can see, it's automatically also generating a vertical format. Now, this is just rearranging some of the items. Let's say that you want to export this as well then you can do that right here. Now let's go ahead and select our image that we would like to use for the thumbnail. Let's use this one, click on edit. And now we have all these different styles of text that we can use to turn this into a thumbnail. So as you can see, we can use all these different styles, to turn that into a thumbnail. Let's go ahead and use this one. We're going to change the text here. We can move these items around. We don't need to use everything very quick way of creating our thumbnail. And then we can click on complete. And so that's how you can use CapCut to start creating your own videos in no time. CapCut is completely free. You can download it using those links in the description below and get started on editing amazing videos today. 
Now, just a quick thank you to all the channel members. You can see them right here. Thank you for supporting the channel and making all of this possible. Now, if you would like to become a channel member as well, you can click that join button at the bottom. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.